Interstate 395 and 290 with bonus content. CT and MA. February 8th, 22. Route description and length. 395 begins in East Lyme and at 70 cents off 95 and runs up the eastern side of Connecticut up to the Mass Pike. 290 is the continuation of 395 beyond the Mass Pike. The length of 395 is 67 miles, while 290 is only 20 miles. History of 395 and 290. The highway that is now I-395 from its southern terminus with 95 in East Lyme to Etza 35 in Plainfield opened on January 2, 1958 as part of the 129-mile Connecticut Turnpike from Greenwich at the New York State Line to Killingly at the Rhode Island State Line. In 1964, work began on a freeway extension beyond the Turnpike in Plainfield north towards Worcester connecting to the Massachusetts Turnpike, I-90. This new freeway, as well as the existing section of the Connecticut Turnpike from East Line to Plainfield, would be designated as Route 52. The section between Plainfield and US 44 near Putnam opened in 1967, and the section from US 44 to the Mass State Line opened in 1969. Massachusetts completed its section of the freeway in 1977. In 1983, in response to the cancellation of the proposed 84 section from Hartford to Providence, The Connecticut Department of Transportation, CONDOT, wishes to supplement the state's laws of interstate mileage by providing an interstate designation to Route 52. Initially, I-290 was to be extended from its southern terminus in Auburn, Massachusetts. However, in 1983, it was decided to instead apply the 395 designation to the freeway. History of 395 and 290 continued. The, now we're on to 290. Originally, I-290 was to rejoin I-90 in Westboro, roughly from roughly where I-495 sits now. However, this route would have been through the town centers of Shrewsbury and Northboro. Additionally, I-290 was intended to be extended past 495 to I-95 Route 128 in Waltham, but this was canceled under pressure from towns along the plain route. A brief two-lane connector heads to Route 85 as a result of this aborted plan. The interchange with I-495 was originally supposed to be a cloverleaf, but after the plan was canceled, it was modified with a flyover ramp onto 495 northbound. In 2004, the former S-12, now S-16, was temporarily closed when the Route 146 freeway was under construction between the Mass Pike and 290. It was completed in 2007. This is a letter to the government about 395 back on May 5th, 1983. I'll read this to you. Dear Mr. Francois, Connecticut wishes to have placed on the agenda of the Route Numbering Committee for consideration at its meeting to be held on June 20th, 1983. The redesignation of Route 52 is Interstate Route I-395. This request has been coordinated with the state of Massachusetts and the Division Office of Federal Highway. Some previous correspondence has referred to the possibility of this route being designed as Interstate 290. However, the state of Massachusetts feels that such a number would be misleading since it indicates a closed loop off I-90 under guidelines. Although the proposed interstate connects two major interstate routes, Federal Highway Administration, American Association of State. Officials in Washington were not receptive to a two-digit number being used when the two states first approached them about designating Route 52 as an interstate highway. I-99 may be the only available two-digit number which substantially meets AS. American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials Guidelines, 
but its use would require renumbering Connecticut 99, which transfers to six towns in this state and is of considerable length. Connecticut would not accept this number. While I-395 would normally describe a spur connecting with I-95 in balance, it appears to be the best choice of the available numbers. There are several instances where a three-digit number beginning with an odd digit is used to designate an interstate ruin of considerable length. I-195 in Massachusetts and Rhode Island is one nearby example. Application forms are included in accordance with instructions contained in your letter of January 17, 1983. Please notify us if any further information is required. So basically, they have to write a letter to this executive director saying, you know, we want 395 to be a not be the number of this road. And that made sense because, you know, if you look at all the highways in Connecticut, 95, 84, and 91 are considered like the major ones, where 395, 384, and 291 are considered auxiliary routes. But this is how this is where 395 got its designation as 395. Let's see what the assets are, beginning with 395. Starting point, exit 70 sets off at 95 at mile zero. Exit two, route 85, Colchester, Waterford. Exit 5, northbound exit, southbound and, excuse me, northbound and to southbound exit, Route 32, New London. Exit 6, Route 163, Uncasville, Montville. Exit 9, Route 2A, East, Preston, Ledger, Mohegan, and Sun. Exit 11, Route 82, Downtown, Norwich, Salem. Exit 13, AB, Route 2 and 32. 13B is considered a suicide ramp because of the curvature. And the reason why you can't see my face is because it covers the right end. This is what we mean by the curvature. It's right there, as you can see. Basically, you're going like this. It's at 14, Yantic, Norristown, Dodd Stadium, which is somewhere over here. Exit 18, Route 97, Occam, Taffville. Exit 19, Northbound Exit, Southbound Enter, Route 169, Lisbon. Exit 21, Route 12, Griswold, Jewish City, entering Griswold. Right there. Twenty two is Route one sixty four one thirty eight Preston City Patch Hog easiest way to TF Green Airport. Exit twenty four is Route two oh one Hopeville. Enter in Plainfield, Nets three exits. Sometimes I just feel worthless. Exit 28, Lathrop Road. Exit 29, Route 14A, Plainfield, Oniko. Exit 
32, Route 14, Central Village, moves up. Keep left to stay on I-395 North. Exit 15, the U.S. sits east, Providence. Aaron Kilnley, Nets four assets. At 37, U.S. sits west, Danielson, Hartford, Willimantic. At 38, South Kilnley. Forty-one is Route One Hundred One, Dayville, Killingly, Quinnebog Valley Community College, which is that way. Exit Forty-three is Adelwugan, Bayouville, home of Steel and Wire. Entering Putnam, that's three exits. Forty-five Kennedy Drive. Forty sets to Route Twelve, Putnam. Forty-four, excuse me, forty-seven, U.S. forty-four, Woodstock, East Putnam. Enter in Thompson, that's three assets. Forty-nine is northbound assets, southbound enter, Route twelve, Grosnerdale. Fifty is Route two hundred, North Grosnerdale, Thompson. 53 is Wilsonville, East Thompson. Entering Massachusetts, exit 1, 193, Webster, Thompson, Connecticut. Exit 3, Old Exit 2, Route 16, Webster Center, Douglas. Exit 4, Old Exit 3, Cudworth Road, North Webster, Oxford. Exit 7A, Old 4A, Sutton Avenue, Sutton. Exit 7B, Old Exit 4B, Sutton Avenue, Oxford Center. That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Exit 9, Old 5, Depot Road, North Oxford. Exit 11A, Old 6A, East 20 to 146, Shrewsbury. Exit 11B, Old 6B. U.S. 20 West, Surveys to I-84. Note, 395 ends, 290 begins. So, right there is the finish line of 395. And 290 begins. That's a 12 to I-90, Mass Pike Toll, Boston Springfield, Route 12 South, Auburn. That's a 13, Swanson Road, Auburn to Route 12. That's a 14, Route 12 North, Hope Avenue.
That's at 15 College Street, excuse me, College Square, Servet Street to Route 12 South. That's at 16 South 146 to Mass Pike, Millbury, Providence, Rhode Island. This is the first sign where we are, we are introduced to it being Norwich, Connecticut. That's at 17122A, Vernon Street, Kelly Square. Now, if you notice on the up on the right, see where it says mile 5.2 and mile 17.2? Mile 17 is the correct exit number because this is the same road as 395. That's at 18, 122, Grafton Street. That's at 19, it's Shrewsbury Street. That's at 20, is MLK Junior Boulevard, downtown Worcester. And Polar Park is somewhere over here. Twenty one is Route Nine, where Framingham. Twenty two and twenty three is for I one ninety North, Sterling Leominster. Twenty three is to Route seventy, Burncoat Street, Lincoln Street, Edson only. Twenty four is Plantation Street, Worcester. Now we are coming out of Worcester. Twenty five is Main Street, Shrewsbury, Worcester. Edson to twenty sets is Shrewsbury, Boylston, Route one forty. Twenty seven is Church Street, Northboro, Boylston. Thirty A B it's Hudson Street, Northboro, Solomon Pond, Mall Road, Berlin. Thirty two A B is I four ninety five Lowell, Cape Cod to eighty five Hudson. Bonus contact one ninety. That's at 1, Route 12, Gold Star Boulevard, West Boylston Street. That's at 2, Hararat Street, Holden, Greendale. And I apologize if I mispronounced that. That's at 4, Route 12, West Boylston. Exit 9, 140, West Boylston, Princeton. Exit 14, Route 12, Sterling, Clinton. Exit 17, Route 117, Leominster, Lancaster. That's at 19 AB is the Route 2 West Fitchburg or 2 East Boston. And that is the end of 190 and the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching.